What's the next step? Card. 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 Dimpling and setting rivets on the skins. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. So I know you start looking at, um, you know, getting started to build. You can use the C frame where you're going to sit there and bang it with a hammer. Uh, the DDRT is kind of the more common like... manual uh, punch press uh, item that replaces the C frame dimpler. Um, but we started looking at um a tool made by clinton aeronautics we okay you did i got it for you for valentine's day it was our valentine's day gift <laughs> and i'll admit when we first ordered the card i thought it was overkill you thought we were never going to use it i thought we might use it but it's just like we have a c-frame dimpler do we and this is before we dimpled our first skin <laughs> How many times do you use that C-frame dimpler? Once. Oh. There was one hole on the bottom skin that the card could not get to. And we had to pull out the C-frame dimpler. And so out of the 500 holes on the bottom of the fuselage, one of them got done by the C-frame. But the card was fantastic. And not only is it good at dimpling which is its probably first and primary job it's fantastic at back riveting uh when you have full access so it is our back rivet and dimple tool choice right now we have it set up for back riveting because we just got done riveting all of the um um what's the word i'm looking for thingamadoos on the elevator. elevator the ribs the ribs that's the word i was looking for all the ribs on the elevator back riveted because once you dial in that first rivet just perfect it sets every rivet exactly the same with no drift no changes it's, it's really it's a brilliant tool that um if you already have a ddrt you're it's probably not worth spending the money that's um not that much of an upgrade uh it is an upgrade from the ddrt yeah but um, if you're looking to figure out what your dimpling, your skin dimpling and skin back riveting uh, tool choice is going to be, take a look at the card. Um, Go to Clemson Aeronautics and look at the card one. We got the full deluxe package because I was getting it as a gift for us for Valentine's Day. But he does sell it um, in a smaller package. Yep. And it is... Um, a little counterintuitive to use so um he spent some time with us on facetime yeah, yeah hisham actually we texted him and you know as soon as it arrived he texted us and said hey it arrived you know talk to me let me let me uh, help you it wasn't like a here i thank you for buying my <laughs> thing and good luck uh we spent an hour and a half uh on a facetime with him one night and he's like go get a scrap piece of metal Let's go configure it for this. Let's set that. He's like, okay, zoom in on that. Uh, really detail oriented, and um, you know his um, his whole goal is a perfect dimple and a perfect rivet in every spot. I mean, he's like so OCD about that, um, well beyond what we need. Um, the only downside is it can't do number four rivets. It won't rivet. It'll dimple number four, uh, number It'll 30 holes. It'll dimple any hole. Yeah, it, you, dimple hole that isn't there. <laughs> Found that out the hard way. Be careful. We did punch one extra hole where it shouldn't have been. Well, you got to make sure the mail is in the hole. Yep. Oh, but that was inappropriate. Um, we did build a custom card for our card. Um, uh, spent an uh, afternoon and a couple trips to Home Depot. Uh, the Depot. The Depot build in our cart and uh, i like our little cart there's a hundred different ways to build the cart but you just want it 
level with your workbench so that you've got a nice continuous flow. Um, and um, all those number three rivets and all the holes we would want to dimple, it's great. And it uses our um, Cleveland Tools pneumatic air squeezer. Um, it's, think of it as a giant yoke for your air squeezer. Yeah. That's what the card is, and it's phenomenal. So well, we're, I'm, it was a great Valentine's gift. I feel like it saved us a lot of time. It has. Again, the best tools makes a good build. Um, the better you invest in your tools, the better your build's going to go and the quicker it's going to go. Yeah. Agreed.